welcome back uh, my dear subscribers it's been a long time since i've been publishing some interesting uh story on youtube and this time i have a little bit more time so it's time to do some new improvements <coughs> in publishing the clips so in this time i'm gonna explain that uh, a lot of times there has been uh, a lot of talk from the mountain bikers uh, which like to have a mountain bike with the with the uh, road wheels wheel sets uh, and of course for those who had the disc brake uh, variant uh, it was not of such a problem because you just buy a new wheel set uh, use 20 28 uh, inch rim and install it without any problem but for those who had the v brake system like this one uh, in here you see this is the 26 uh, inch wheel on it uh, and people said yeah I cannot I need to buy a new bike because I cannot have two wheels and so on but it's wrong so what you can do on a budget basically it takes you maybe 10-15 minutes you just simply do <clears throat> special adapter like you see in here so what this adapter does uh, in here you have three holes in here is basically an uh, elliptical hole that you can a little bit adjust. Uh, two holes which just uh, reinforce the twisting momentum around when you're braking. Otherwise you can use only one bolt uh, and the rest will be applied. The, the, the momentum will be stopped at the uh, uh, V-brake caliper. But I decided to do the two bolt variant. So. Basically what you can do, uh, just build the adapter like this one, from the side I can show like this, and you replace the position of V brake pads to a higher position. And now I'm going to install uh, the 20 in, 28 inch uh, wheel in, uh, inside and you will see how this uh, works. So we'll be back right away. Voila! Now we installed the 28 inch wheel. Uh, it is uh, the wheel uh, from the road bike uh, which uses I think 25 uh, mil is it 25? Yeah I think it's 25 mil uh, tire but according to the space inside, uh, inside it could be easily used 28 if not up to 32 uh, as well in, in here. Depends on the edge uh, on the height of the edge uh, on the tire so uh, in this case you see that the brake pads are positioning right on the on the place you want uh, another another option is even though if you want to use smaller wheels on 26 inch uh, frame set that you turn upside down this one but from the inside from the inside uh, from the inside uh, position and you can use on 26 inch, inch even 24 inch wheels so you have a, a very versatile bicycle which can be uh, used in variety on terrains uh, another thing that I would say on the market there exists some special uh, uh, adjustable uh, brake calipers but like I said it's always a problem with the price the price tag is quite high uh, if you want to pay 70 80 dollars for only brake calipers that means 160 dollars uh, for both sides front and the rear it's kind of rip off thing so it's better just use maybe 20 minutes work maybe this will cost you less than dollar uh, what you need is for the pair of the V brakes uh, M6 uh, bolts, 20 millimeters long, uh, and that's it. And when you want to change back to 26 inch, it is not necessary to undo <coughs> uh, the V brake pads. <coughs> you just undo these two screws, take it off. So when you position back this, you don't need to adjust the, uh, the brake pads once again. You just use <coughs> for 26 another pair of uh, brake shoes, which you adjust manually. So I hope this uh, video clip uh, will 
make yourself uh, interesting with and you can try this at home as well so take care and see you next time for with new clip bye bye